Hey guys. So in today's video, I'm gonna be replacing the radiator on the Infinity G35. Um, we have the new radiator right there. We've actually been having it in for about a week now. Just haven't had time to install it. We just replaced the AC condenser yesterday. So I hope this goes smoother than yesterday because yesterday those lines were hard to get off. So let me go ahead and unbox this and show you guys what we got. So we have a Luxa Lux Lux Bad Racing Lumen Radiator 7029. I don't know what that stands for, but okay. I already went ahead and opened it to see how it was, how it looked. Looks pretty decent to be honest. Not sure what these are for or where these go to. I'm sure if they're in here, they might be used somewhere, right? I guess. Set those to the side. Uh, some nice packaging. Keep the radiator from moving. That's nice. Let's go ahead and set this to the side. Garbage. This is garbage. These are garbage. Garbage. And let's see, there we go. That's the radiator. Let's see if you have anything in the packaging. Nope, nothing left in the packaging. So, this is our new radiator no more plastic up top got this off of ebay not gonna lie lux bad that's nice okay we have the lines for the automatic transmission right in there one and two the holes for the fans uh, the holes for the AC condenser. So yeah, it's got everything we got, we need. Uh, let's see if I can get this out with one hand, so I can show you guys. Okay, probably not, so let me unbox this, or take the bag off so I can show you guys. Alright guys, we went ahead and took the bag off for you guys, so you guys can take a better look. It's looking pretty good so far. It's got the drain plug down there. These are the condenser holes. So the condenser can just sit in there uh, where the condenser drills in too so it can hold the top portion of the condenser. Uh, it's got the fan holes where the fan sits the bottom uh radiator output or input whatever the cooling ports at the bottom same over here the one that goes to the top we have the reservoir slot we got a cap with it that was nice the this is where they sit for the radiator something on the bottom so yeah pretty built pretty well built to be honest for ebay quality uh, it's pretty nice at the top too. It looks and looks bad. It's nice. Let's go get it. And go ahead and get this started. All right, guys. If you guys didn't already take off your fans, I already did because mine are broken. So the bottom just sits in that hole, and in that one, then up top there's a screw here and a screw there it's a 10 millimeter bolt so take those off once you're done you're gonna want to reuse this or at least i'm going to you guys can buy new hoses if you guys like but i'm going to reuse it so take off the clamp slide it off and that goes to our reservoir which we need a new reservoir too because it's got to crack in it um you want to disconnect your hose right here. Uh, I got it. There it goes. Okay. It's 
harder with one hand. Let me try my right hand. Jeez. There we go, one-handed. Nice. So now you wanna pull the hose off. If this is the first time you're pulling them off, you're probably gonna have a little bit of leakage. <clears throat> but since it's not my first time, I don't have any leakage. Uh, you wanna take off that hose down there. Right there. And that hose that goes on that nipple which would be this one but i have it capped off right now it's for your trans cool uh this one right there that i have capped off also take that one off uh other than that remember to remove the 10 millimeter bolt in here and in here that holds your ac condenser in place to your radiator um and then slide it uh, i'll show you guys once i got all that done what i have to do next so right now i'm just gonna take that off and unscrew those 10 millimeter so yeah be back okay guys so we got a little mess from not the top hose but the bottom hose we got it off and it just started oozing out which was nice um, but we got it out, we let it drain. Uh, I just let it drain onto the floor because at the end of the day we have rocks. So, and we have a, a mesh that goes under the rocks to filter out the, what goes under the rocks, like water and stuff like that. So, but if you guys don't wanna have a mess, I would suggest putting like a catch can under that to recycle it. That's exactly what sh you should do because coolant is harmful to animals that are able to drink it and stuff like that. So do your best to try and recycle it. But other than that, just remove that hose, remove those hoses down there, remove the fan, take off the 10 millimeter bolts that I did, uh, remove this hose up here, remove the hose up here. Um, I'm gonna remove that one right there so I can have access to move it further back. So let's go ahead and grab this. There There's that. So now we have way more room to be able to move this out of the way so now what you want to do is pull up on the ac condenser so that way it unhinges from the ones down there you can see right in there the clip is right there you have to pop it up and unhinge it same thing right there uh if you can see right there you just got to pop it up and this is a part of the radiator so you have to do it and when you put the new radiator in, you have to put it back on. So it's gonna be nice. But for now, let me go ahead and see how I'm gonna do that. And I'll be back with you guys when I'm about to install that one. All right guys, so we got the bottom piece. I don't know if you guys can see it. See, it's not in there anymore. Same thing with this side. You just can't see it as much. But anyways, it's off. Oh, there you go. Should be able to see it now. If it'll focus. Oh, well, you guys can see a little slot. I can't get it to focus. Now all you gotta do is figure out a way to get the radiator. 
to be able to wig it, wiggle it out. Make sure those metal, those plastic tabs at the bottom don't hit the new, the condenser, so you don't bend any of the new, the t uh, little small fins on the condenser. Just be very careful. Take your time. Um, we'll see what we end up doing. But good luck on that part, because <laughs> I know I'm gonna need some luck. I'll be back once I get it out and put the new one semi in place. All right, guys, as you can see, we got the radiator out. Good thing we're doing that and replacing it with that brand new one, because look at that gouge. Jesus Christ, boy. See that? You see how? Oh, God. Oh, we. Sheesh. No bueno. Anyways, anyhow, I'm going to be honest with you guys to get it out. I had to remove that, the high, the, no, it's the low, the low side of the AC condenser. Uh, since I just replaced it, there's nothing in here. I don't know if you guys are want, willing to replace, uh, to, to take yours off. Um, but yeah, I had to do that to, uh, in order to get my, my radiator out. Uh, I didn't have to take this, the, the high side off because it was small enough where I could just squeeze right through. But uh, the, the low side is kind of bigger. So on to putting the new one in. So I got to slide it back in, put it underneath the condenser, plug the condenser back in, and put the, all the hoses back on. So I'll be back with you guys once I have that started. Upon installing that one, I have removed that high, low line to the AC condenser. I have removed the bracket that holds the coolant reservoir. The fans, which were already trashed, that I had to replace anyways. And I removed the condenser off of the, the, the radiator. So now I have to, uh, in order for that new one to fit, I had to remove the bracket so it wouldn't hit the new condenser because I don't want to scratch this up. It's just brand new. I don't want to have anything. I did hit my finger, so nice, beautiful. But anyways, um, now that we got that bracket out the way, we can put it in without a problem. And that low line, we gotta have it out of the way too. So let's go ahead and install this and put everything back. All right guys, we got the new radiator in place. We have the bottom brackets into their slot. Same thing over there, into their slot. Uh, all we gotta do is put the two 10 millimeter bolts that go here. Um, connect that low end line back up. Then hook up all the hoses and we're basically complete until we get the fans and the new coolant reservoir. So. Let me go ahead and do all that so that way I can show you guys the final product of this radiator. All right guys, if you remember these little nipples, ad adaptable nipples that we got out at the beginning of the video. So they're gonna go all down there, those two nipples that are sticking out, they're screw-ons right there. So this is gonna screw onto it. That way those hoses right there can adapt to those which that's gonna make that possible. You're gonna need an adjustable wrench to tighten them down so that way they don't come loose with time. If you have some uh, some thread locker, I would put some on there, but if not, I think it should be fine. Um, so put those on there, put the lines back on. Other than that, I already got the, the bolts there, the 10 millimeter bolts. The, high, the low input back on there, you just press it on there, it snaps in, you can hear it snap. I accidentally messed up. I don't know what happened, but the screw went into it. Uh, I hope it doesn't cause anything. If, if it does, if it doesn't let the the system charge with AC, then I'm just gonna have to replace it again. Other than that, let's finish up this install. Hopefully we can get this car running soon. All right guys, so we got everything put back. Like I said, I hope that bolt going into the condenser doesn't do anything because I really don't want to buy another condenser and have to do this whole job again and I hope this crack doesn't end up getting worse because I don't want to replace that radiator support again and remove everything else 
But other than that, I got the hoses down there hooked up, tightened. Uh, I have the radiator hose hooked up and tightened. I uh, put the low side back in where it's supposed to be. I need to put this back on right there like that. If you guys can even see. Right in there. Got to put the bolt back on. The low is put back on. Those I put back on. I put the bracket back on for the coolant reservoir. I slid the coolant reservoir just in there, placed in just so it, so it looks kind of how it's supposed to be. Uh, need fans. I still need that washer right there. But other than that, it's it's coming back along. It's it's coming back, going back to how it's supposed to be. Uh, anyways. Uh, that's all for today. So uh, I hope that you guys found this video helpful. And if you guys did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We out. Now turn up.